<laughs> we are back. Yeah, we're back. Oh my god, it's been ages, hasn't it? It's been Can't ages. Remember. And it's been November. ages. I think we did one after I come back from Bahrain, but that might have been the last one. Yeah, because that's sweet then. Fucking jelly, yeah, jelly sweet. Well, the tins are there anyway. Yeah, they were. Um, nice, so, welcome back, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, lads. Happy New Year. Um, sound was on. Um, yeah, it's been a minute. I got ill in December. <laughs> You're still ill now? No, I'm okay now. Um, I got proper ill as well. Just like for a couple of weeks where you just couldn't move. And then I got over it. And then uh, Joe, who stands like two people to the left of me in Stratford End, jumped from like, so there's a guy here, that's Joe, Rashford scores, and Joe jumps like around this guy and lands on this side of me, gets me in like an headlock and goes down into the row in front of us. My dad catches him and uh, holds onto my neck as he's going down, fucks my neck up. Like, I was like, I was okay for a couple of days. And then we went and did, um, we went and did the homeless stuff. The day after, oh, yeah, yeah. my neck was fucked up. Um, so, yeah, we've not even done a, a podcast since the homeless stuff, actually. I probably should have preloaded. Um, I think I might be able to do it while we're live. So, I think I can probably preload up some of the... Oh, the video. We took a video, didn't we? Yeah, so let me I, see if him, I, I sent him to you. Yeah, I got it on here. Um, let me just see if I can do it. So, uh, fill the people in on your Christmas while I look for this. Chill, mate. I've been working, me. I only had, like, that four days off. I seen you on... What day was it? That was a Saturday before, and... Arse, oh it? yeah, drop presents off you. I was watching that. Yeah, my ass is better, but it's still a little bit sore every now and then. <laughs> Thanks for your uh, concern, Tom. What did he? Do? Yeah, just like chilled family in it, and then back you're back in work on Wednesday. We took a video, didn't we? Yeah, I sent it to you on WhatsApp. Let's just see if it's on. So there. yeah, it weren't really that, and then New Year's just chilled again. Just fucking old man now, isn't it? Getting ready to uh, to move house. Hopefully that'll all go through by the end of. Um, End of this month, get some shit done and then rocking and rolling. So busy year, man. It's gonna be a crazy year, yeah. So um, big you, things, big you're things. Fucking about with your house move as well, aren't you? You're moving back to your mum's for a little bit while you you move out of this one, move back to your mum's while the new one's being like decorated, like renovated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only for like, and then I'll try and try and get in a, a, an holiday as well <laughs> for a couple of weeks. Um, I've just been sort of planning out my. Anyone summer. been Vietnam? Oh my god, Vietnam. Americans have been. It wasn't so good. Um, <coughs> I've been sort of looking at things I can do for um, for summer. So summer's looking like so the IMF Euros. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm now a fully fledged part of the team. So I go wherever they go. So the IMF Euros. Someone's just decided that June would be a good time to do the Euros. Hang on, there's something happening in June. What's happening in June? Oh yeah, the World Cup. So I'm like, fuck. Where is the Euros this time? Romania. Hmm. So I've got that's the 16th to the 23rd or 17th to the 23rd. June. That's but like, that's only that's the like group stage. No, no, it's group stage. The Is finals it? not till the 15th of July. Huh? How come it's usually like? I don't know. I thought it was going to be getting pretty. Well, actually, to be fair, it's, you... it's like a month long. Yeah, no. Well, is it more teams in the World Cup this year? Is it? Fuck Is knows. it the time it's gone up? It might have done. No, it might be. Can't uh, remember. So I was looking at right shit. So um, like middle of June. Go Romania, probably have to come home, maybe do like a week at home. First week of July, get my ass over to Russia, hopefully. Uh, watch the knockout stage to the final. <clears throat> get my ass home for a week, probably not even a week. Uh, and then my sister's getting married in Spain, so mm-hmm. I've got a week in Spain with everybody. There's like 40 of my family going. It's my ambition that it's absolute chaos. <laughs> um, it will be chaos anyway. I don't anyway. think it needs to be an ambition. No, it's probably going to be chaos anyway, innit? Come back. I'd like to go on the United Tour, which is in America again. Is it? And then the Asian IMAF Championships is in China in uh, September. Canal Janine's just going to be sat at home, fucking feet up. She goes, should I just marry someone else then last night? I was like, so you're coming with me on one of them. Get a passport, <laughs> innit? Fucking oh, yeah, or B, get a passport. Well, she's going to have to get one before the trip anyway, isn't she? So, uh, I'm going to hit you guys up in the comments uh, in a minute. Uh, someone's asking you, did you have a vegan Christmas? No, I had salmon, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Teriyaki salmon with a bit, and then the veg on the side it was nice. Um, right, I, I think I can set it up this way. So if I get Christmas done with now, isn't it? Oh, All yeah. it is is Jasmine going. More for me, more for me. Where's my another present? My next present. I'm <laughs> like, ah, oh, well, give it rest. Sound up. <clears throat> uh, one second, fellas. Shouldn't that be that? 
Is, uh, is Spurs still nil-nil, by the way? Harry Kane fucked a lot of people up this week, didn't he? Double double game weeks. I bet some people are triple captain him there. He's not scored yet. <sighs> Come on for like 17 minutes. I don't think he did much. I think I did No. Oh. Where am I looking for it? Media source. No, not media source. It's media. Um, what is still it? Still nil-nil. Image media source. Is it media source? Fuck knows, man. When's the last time you used this? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Where's your producer? Um, no, I didn't find media source. Not one. Local file. Boom. Start one in it. Yeah. Open. Okay. It's not it. All right. Let me try and do it on this one while it's live. <laughs> Didn't want to do it on this because this is where it messes up. But let's try it again on here. Media source. Boom. Local file. Boom. Not one. Absolutely blown away. We've, we've given maybe half of the bags out so far. Um, it was cold that night, wasn't it? Right, so I'm going to restart this. Hopefully it comes back on again. Here's uh, our little video of the stuff that we got for the Homeless podcast. Absolutely blown away. We've, we've given maybe half of the bags out so far. Um, probably more, actually. Yeah, probably a little bit more. We're blown away by the, the lads that have come to help us out and give this out and everyone that supported this. Didn't actually know how this was going to go off, to be honest. It was a mad idea that we had, that we've somehow managed to see through. We still don't know how it came about. I don't know how it came about. We're pledging to make this an annual thing, and next year we're going to go bigger, better, and we're going to try and help even more people. I'm going to go speak to the mayor, I'm going to speak to the big change in Manchester, and we're not going to end homelessness between us, but we're going to make it comfortable for people, and I'm happy with that. Thanks for your donations. Cheers, guys. So, uh, I can't hear what I said on there, but I think I was just basically sort of explaining the stuff that we got, um, and thank you to everybody that donated. Um, didn't upload a video, didn't vlog it or anything like that, because it didn't feel right to do, did it? It, it felt exploitative to, to record the homeless people getting it, so and it, we never wanted to do that. We just wanted to help. Um, we took a load of pictures. If you follow us um, on social media, my Instagram story especially, I was doing stuff all throughout the day. You're an Instagram hoe? I'm an Instagram hoe, yeah. I've got a big booty. Um, do, you, do you film yourself when just before you're going to go into the shower? Do you do no, them sort right of right through, right through. Right. Should I vlog in the shower? Would you like to see that? You won't want to see that. Um, so, yeah, we we obviously raised the money with you guys uh, and your guys' help on the 24-hour podcast, which I only found out after like having a proper argument with YouTube about why it wasn't uploaded is they only store... Eight hours, I think it might have been twelve, but I think it might be eight 12, hours. Like Was it twelve? Yeah. They only store or cash twelve hours, so we would have had to have like stopped the stream and then started a part two for it to have all uploaded in, in one go. Uh, that would have been the maximum they allowed to do it. So, but it's there in the background of well, this like, page. I just can't do it. Well, that was like it. the first first time, and it's so next time when it happens, if it happens like that again, then we know what we're doing. Because there was a couple of instances where camera obviously flipped round to showing Sky Sports that yeah, we were watching. Yeah, I had to and... put the boxing on, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Try to jeopardise us. Fucking maniac. Um, but yeah, there was there was things that we learned. Yeah, shout out to Abdul, still not won a game of FIFA yet, but you know. <laughs> uh, there was things that we learned that we was doing it. There was things that we learned that we would like to do better next time. Um, there was, there's obviously scale going to be involved. Now, we got 70 packs together. That's what we got with all that stuff. Uh, 70 packs which was sleeping by wipes toothbrush toothpaste oh, you've seen it on the video that you just seen it on the t yeah you've seen it on there so we got all that shit together and um, you know, we had a couple of stingers uh, a couple of lads that follow us on um, on Twitter came down and helped my mum come down and helped uh, Janine came down and helped and we, we we went and we just walked around town finding people and the the interaction between people like between the people we could talk to them was mint wasn't it mm. it was well worth yeah for the response from people like there was a couple of people like jumped up and hugged me and i, I was, wasn't prepared for that like i was it took me a bit by surprise it doesn't feel like we're doing much but i guess if you haven't got anything yeah, you speak to people like some of them saying oh i've had this same sleeping bag for eight months i've had dog sleep on it cat sleep on it and all that and they were pissing it down that night as well yeah, it was, it and it was a great it night, was cold yeah. as well Beginning was it beginning December? First week of December, day before my birthday. So um, I oh, think yeah. if we if we do it next year, it has to be earlier before the cold bites because we missed a bit of the cold. We I want to put some advice like laminated <coughs> advice leaflets in there. 
here's the steps to, to what you need to be doing, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I want to, um, I want to keep doing it. Um, I've debated looking at other charities, maybe some children's charities or something like that, but I think the homeless one's just non-political. Oh, mate, I told you when after we give them out and I went home and watched that, uh, there's some adoption programme. <laughs> Fuck, he wrote me off. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just take them all. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Janine's the same with dogs. Yeah. Um, no. So, yeah, I want to I, I wanna do it again, uh, but obviously, thanks to you guys, um, all we did was stay up and talk shit and then go and give it out. So, it's no skin off our nose to do no. that again next year. Um, glad we had a positive impact. And the thing is as well, um, someone said, why did we go and do it ourselves rather than um, just give the money to a charity? Charities run at operating costs. Don't. We, we give more than we raised because there was obviously uh, the petrol money. We never, you know, we didn't do anything with the petrol money for all the different here, there and everywhere as we had to go buying the stuff and researching what to buy, giving it out and all the rest of it. There was... Every single penny raised and more went to the good cause that mm. we wanted it to go to. If you give that money to a charity, you know the receptionist is being paid a wage. This guy's the being paid a wage. The admin cost is like ninety percent of whatever's donated to charity doesn't go. It goes on operating costs and ten percent goes to charity. That's why, like you know, you see these people that are like, oh sign up and two pound, three pound, whatever. Yeah. Like you think of how many people they've got to sign up. Oh god, just to a day, cover their wage. Just yeah, just to cover their wage and their expenses. And yeah. it's like, what's the point? Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's just a it's a bit of a, a scam. It's but. it's a shame because most charities are set up for the right reasons. Uh like the place most. where my mum works, that was a guy bought two terrace houses and knocked them together and put a bed in every room, like a just a camp bed in every room and told the homeless people, you can say you live here now, so you can claim benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's you all it is. You need to fix, yeah. the, fix the dress. Um, it, it's an absolute nightmare. We've got some plans afoot for the way this podcast is going to evolve. And one of the things is guests. Uh, we're going to go more bringing in people we can talk to. I've got loads of fighters. Um, Jermaine McGillagarvey, the England winger as well. He's been chatting to me on Twitter. He's going to be coming on pretty soon. Um, I want to get the mayor on, obviously, after what we did last year. Uh, but this is where we can start really tackling like proper social issues for Manchester that actually might make a difference and get some discussion going with some stuff. Because the mayor's the mayor's doing something for this year as well, which I think is all about public transport. Is his focus this year? Uh, but so the, why do they eradicate homelessness last well, year? Well, oh, that's what the sign says, isn't it? A big change, Manchester yeah. ending homelessness. Oh, so not was it just for one year and then it changes? Like... I don't know if that was him or the big change themselves, but um, yeah. I, I think. Uh, we got to go and talk about that kind of shit um, because I, I, I've spoken to Jaden about it a little bit yeah. and I was like, if I ended up on the streets, one nil West Ham. unbelievable. <laughs> they should have played Harry Kane. Mm -hmm. um, if I ended up on the streets, I don't know what the first step would be. I think I'm lucky enough, I think you're lucky enough that we've got family around us that it'd never happen. Oh, yeah, We'd yeah, always so. end up at family. But my mum was chatting to a couple of people she gave bags to and she's like, oh, my, my brother's like 200 <laughs> metres up. And you're like, what? Yeah, I think I Whole can't remember families. who it was who said, but there's like, oh, my mum just passed away two weeks ago, and it's like, I was here on the streets, I had nothing, nowhere to go, and it's like, fuck. What do you do? I don't know. Because I think if someone in my family passed away, you know, you've got your funeral costs, your plot costs, all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd struggle. I'd really struggle to cover anything for all of that. Like, and people, you think, what do you do on the streets? You just, you like, shrug your shoulders, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people trying to, like, relying on the state, it's not as easy as that. Because it's only going to help you so much. So yeah, um, we want to get it done. Same same weekend, I think, like first weekend of October, the international break. Um, give it to the end of that month to raise the money, and then that first week, hopefully. Uh, although the World Championships is at the same time again, but we know what to do. There's been again. more internationals anyway in November, so just get it done that way. Uh, but yeah, we want to we want to do it again, and we hope we can raise more now after you've seen what we've done this time around. Yeah, a bit more planning and organising. It kind of just dropped in, wasn't it? It weren't really... Yeah, like we, we obviously came up with the idea on here, but I don't know how. I don't know when. <laughs> it just sort of was like, now we're doing it now, isn't it? Mm. Um, so there we go. Nice hearing it. Isn't it? Ladies. Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, glad we did that. Um, audio's a bit low, is it? Let me try and turn that up for you. But I just don't want it to blow out. <clears throat> Sometimes it does. Um, so that was that. Christmas and New Year was pretty standard. That we've somehow managed to see through. And, uh, wow. It should be back now, I think.
Right, we're back. Um, <laughs> apologies. Ben kicked the <laughs> internet cable out. What, what can you do, eh? <laughs> Amateur production. So, um, apologies about that, everybody. Uh, can everyone give it a share, please? And everybody give it a big fat thumbs up. And hopefully we get some decent numbers in here uh, tonight for the first one back. Uh, and we'll fill you in on everything that was... Um, was was being planned then so obviously there's going to be a second podcast each week um i'm also thinking about bringing back the snapchat q a because there's a couple of people hit me up on twitter about it It was pretty popular if that comes back it's going to be on this channel so if you're interested in that sort of shit um talk to me about that um what did i get jay for christmas he got clothes did i get him anything else that guy's too i don't that guy's too nice man the kid Jaden. i can't believe what the guy saved all his own Chris, all his own birthday money and bought all his own Christmas presents out of his own money and he wrapped him and you cussed him for it for the wrapping anyway. Right. I can't wrap for shit, right? Yeah, the only I'm presents I wrapped this year. None. Yeah, I didn't wrap right, none. none. I don't wrap. None. I didn't even wrap any of the cards. Well, you got a missus for, isn't it? Exactly, right? So all Jan- Janine does all my wrapping and she's mint at it. She does like proper fancy wrapping. The ones for Janine, my mum did. <laughs> yeah, but Jaden did his own. Right. And you cussed him. Here's what Jaden did. He looked like he put them all in the wrapping and went like that. Yeah, but he still, <laughs> he still attempted it. Do you know what I mean? Well, some maybe just give it Janine like everyone else did. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what the comments are saying. So obviously West Ham have scored. We got that one. Someone saying they saw Webby. Uh, he's in town. He's totally unexpected. Yeah, big lad, whatever. Uh, Obiang scored. Um, I hope they can hold on. There's only there's not long. There's not long left, is there? Um, uh, bring back Snapchat Q&A says James oh yeah there the were a couple of things um, that we was going to talk David about David Moyes for a big job first thing that I wanted to do I threw this out on Twitter so you might have seen this on Twitter already is the pizza review oh, um, yeah. because let's face it we talk about pizza a lot we love pizza I love pizza everybody loves pizza and we think that that's a, a unique aspect of this podcast is the pizza talk isn't it it's every time okay, no. Tottenham bottom room yeah sorry it's every time in it, so let's let's get some proper interaction going. So any time that you sit down to a pizza, take a picture of it, tag me and Ben. Which I forgot. Hashtag pizza review. Yeah, Ben forgot the other day. After yeah, you know one. what? I had, I had pizza. Well, it's in my. You put it in my head when you texted me about it, and I thought, oh, do you know what? Fancy pizza, but I made my own. See, and then what I a ate, great one to review. And then I ate them. But um, I, did, I made my own, but I didn't have that much time, so I just bought the pre-made bases and. Nothing. Anyway. So next time you sit oh, down do you know, to have a pizza, I want, I want a pizza now. next time you sit down to have a pizza, um, hit us up uh, at me and him on Twitter or on uh, Instagram. He's not on there, but I'm on there. Um, tell us about your pizza and take a picture of it, or even a short video. Can we make this a big thing? Because I think this could be a funny aspect of the podcast. I also want to get. We should. We should do like you know this girl at my work. She's got an Instagram for burger reviews. So just a burger just as burger reviews. She's got bare followers. Well, you do it on, on Instagram, then. You're not on Instagram? No, I'm not putting on that. <laughs> so we should do it, but yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah. All right, okay. We'll, I'm we'll, we'll do it. For so you. me do it then, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah basically, that's, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just review pizzas, isn't it? Go around by... They all, all she does, her and her boyfriend, they go around trying out burgers, and then they rate them you could out, do that. out of five. And, yeah, I can't be asked. You could, you could do that and share it as us, so everybody that asks us... Yeah. I can't be asked going on there though. I could do it on. I'll do it on Twitter. Every time I have a pizza. So tag us. Yeah, she's, got, she's got like ten thousand followers or something. Tag us. If you're getting a pizza, tag us, um, and we'll retweet everybody who gets a pizza. The other thing that I wanted to bring back in because especially we chat about pineapple. We ain't chat. Fuck off with pineapple. Sure. Um, it's conspiracies. So obviously we had a little bit of conspiracy talk, oh, didn't we? I had one the other day, but I fucking forgot it. We like conspiracies. You guys like conspiracies. We all like conspiracies, don't we? So, I want a conspiracy corner, but I want it user-generated. We're a community, right? We might be sitting here talking, but ultimately, we have the chat, and this is a big old conversation for all of us, isn't it? So, um, someone thought you were talking about a burglar review. Yeah, burglar review? Yeah. Like yeah, I got, yeah. got robbed. Would what get robbed need? again. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend that. I speak, I speak, to, I speak to someone and said, Oh, yeah, because I had to replace. Oh, fucking wound. I had to replace my boiler, isn't it? That yeah, you've not had a good up. Christmas with your car and the boiler. Well, my well, car cost me about five ton between. Um, I don't know how mine passed its MOT. I was and, shocked. And then, yeah, my boiler went, so I had to pay 1400 quid for a new boiler. So I was like, Oh, fucking. But 
the scar be done on it. But then I speak to someone, I won't say his name, and he's like, oh, I should have told me, because uh, I can get you a boiler, <laughs> like brand new one. Does it sound like Nandy Ning? No. Who? No, I, uh, you don't know him. He's oh, uh, right. one of my mates. But he's like, yeah, what, what it is, these kids, they just go on these building sites and rip, <laughs> rip them out. <laughs> God. I was like, yeah, I'm all, I'm all right, folks, mate. Uh, I'll, I'll need a guarantee on mine. I'd like a hot boiler. And, well, need yeah, a, and I need a receipt. Um, the other thing I was going to say. So, yeah, Conspiracy Corner. So, the way I want these to work is um, you guys bang it on Reddit. The link is in the description below, I think. It should be, anyway. Hit us up with your conspiracy. But do it properly. Don't just, like, throw a link in, watch this video. Talk to us about it. Let's get some comments going. And if it's a popular one, we'll talk about it on a podcast. Or boiler review. Boiler says Hamza, yeah. yeah, I had a fucking... Every time I ever told, like, the boiler guys who come to replay, a Domi... A Feroli Domi Condor's like, what the fuck? They don't even make these no more. <laughs> and it's, it's, only, it's only four... It's only four... It was only four years old. They put it in into the, the year before we bought the house. And, uh, yeah, it fucking had no end of problems. Shit! Don't buy. It. I don't think you can buy them no more. Anyway, basically, this guy, a bit of a problem with mine, this guy, this guy called Feroli. Obviously, he had a boiler company which weren't great. Anyway, then he died, and his two sons argued about it. So they split the company and they stopped making them. And now it's like top. Yeah, this shit. Uh, Harry says, "Why no podcast for so long?" So basically, got back from Bahrain. We did a podcast. Um, we was gonna cancel it. Uh, the week of the homeless review, I think. I can't remember I how it went remember. down, but either way. I so got, it would take a bit of a break, innit? I got proper double mega ill. Um, yeah. So I fucked a couple of them off because I was ill. Um, and I, was, I was, wasn't I was just like, oh, I feel a bit rough. I was like properly fucking ill. Like Janine had to take time off work to just fucking nurse me because oh. I was such a pathetic mess. What she do? Just mess. dab you with a fucking towel? Nah, she's good. Did she make you, did she's she make you toast into like soldiers and that? I'm fucking terrible. When bit of Luke, off. is it? Yeah, I, I'll make, I've, got no, <laughs> I've, got, I've got no empathy whatsoever. Like when it comes to my missus, even my daughter, I was like, Right, okay. So, like, they get ill, like, quite a lot of the time. And I'm just like, fucking hell. So, sort of, again, that, that's sort of the thing. first time I've been proper ill like that in over a year. Yeah, I've, I've not been ill for, like, about two years. No, I don't get ill. Where, like where I couldn't speak and that. But I just, I don't know. I just can't bring myself to right. sympathise with people. What do you mean, dude? was like, took all my quilt and shit downstairs. And she's like, right, yeah. just get me comfy on the yeah. sofa. Do you need a drink? Do you need this? Do you need that? So it's chilling, and I'm just watching telly. I'm keeping myself to myself. She keeps asking me if I want shit, and then she'll go out and get me shit. What she does, though, she just stays in bed. So if you just stay in bed, well, yeah. you, you sound aren't yeah, you? Because yeah, if yeah, I'm yeah. in bed, don't <laughs> fucking talk to me. I'm not going to keep coming up every five minutes to check on you. No. If you want to sit down. Can you do this? Go and get me this. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah. for fuck But if she says, go and get me something, I'll go get it, yeah? Yeah. But if she's not saying shit, then I'll just leave you to it, because I, I get better by just, like, fucking chilling out. Yeah, same. Um, the yeah. break of the podcast can jinx United it didn't really did it let's be honest um, yeah thoughts on Logan Paul and the suicide forest finding a dead body have you seen it for starters no okay on what sorry I didn't know so um, who's Logan Paul see this oh is... shit I seen um, is he that YouTuber yeah and did no yeah I didn't okay so I'll it. fill I you in I, as well as a couple yeah. of you guys who clearly don't know what's going on so Logan Paul is a monster YouTuber I think we've got like 8 million subs might even be more Basically, he's just a full-time YouTuber. I think he daily vlogs. So, I think when people daily vlog, they obviously sit there going, like, what can I do? That's going to be an interesting Kill thing. someone. Because daily vlogging is pretty hard when you're just, like, getting up and scratching your nuts all day, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, they, they have to, like, invent things that's going to happen. Now, he's gone to Japan. In Japan, there's a suicide forest, which that's what? a crazy thing to be known as, isn't it? Um, well, I ended up watching a documentary on it yesterday that Vice had done. So... Everybody's seen their ass with this guy, Royal, um, because he goes to the suicide forest and he's probably gone to the suicide forest to find someone in there. That's, I'm assuming, I mean, I, could, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go. No. I certainly wouldn't film me going, so I don't get the, the, the thought to, to, to go and film that shit. So he's gone to the suicide forest and he finds someone in there and he pans his camera around to show someone and they blur it out before he uploads it and he puts a little warning on there and all the rest of it. Now I've well, got yeah, but why why does he need to go and like so he's he's so basically then he's he's gone he's filmed it and then he's gone back and he's edited it and he blurred it all out. He blows it out, but he uploads it. So why why don't he just fucking leave that? Why, to you know. show that he saw a body while he was in the suicide forest, I guess. What well, so he didn't go on the didn't happen of the year awards? Possibly. See this, I don't know because I don't understand the thought process of filming that <clears throat> to upload it. 
Now, the documentary I watched... Now, a lot... Hang on, let's get this back a bit. So, a lot of the people pissed off at him was pissed off at him showing the body because he's targeted at kids. Okay, I get that. But... Yeah, because... Oh. So, I watched this documentary, which was a Vice one, which I think it's just called Suicide Forest Japan. Um, and they show, like, ten bodies in there. Um, but the guy that's narrating it is the guy that's, like, the forest ranger. Mm-hmm. So, it's it's relevant, and it's respectful, and it's it's clearly... Yeah, but like if you if his if his target audience is kids and you're fucking doing that, that's bangers. Yeah, because like it is. did I tell you these YouTube channels like kids watch him and oh, it's yeah, like no, yeah, yeah you fucking, told me that yeah, go Jasmine fucking, does, well yeah she don't watch these ones obviously but like they're like yeah so like kids go and leave your oven on open the door and then when you wake up in the morning you'll be with the fairies and you're like what the fuck um yes um oh, fucking Hung Ming Son out of all the fucking players a cunt has he scored yeah. Could've True Geordie done a pretty good video about it. He's gone 15 million, all right, see, I don't even know. So, True Geordie did a really brilliant video on it, saying, like, he's basically, he's done it for the clicks, essentially. He puts it in the thumbnail as well. Uh, and it's just, half of me, I've got half of me saying, do you know what? It's all real. If you're doing daily vlogs, show what's happening. But the other half of me is like, he clearly went there to do that, to be shocking, to for all that lot. And it's clearly a dick move. Now, the side of me that's saying, like, freedom of speech, do what you want, that's not thinking that I don't think he's a dick for doing it. I still think he's a dick for doing it, but freedom of speech, people should be allowed to do what they do and then deal with the consequences mm. of what they do afterwards. But Jordy's got an excellent take on it. Um, and I text Jordy and said, like, yeah, you made me think a little bit different about Friends. it, actually. Um, this one all, yeah. Um... Let's be real, how does he have 15 million and Steve doesn't have one? Someone explain. I think about that probably never, to be honest. No, all day text, I can pull up all the text now saying, what the fuck, taking the <laughs> piss this, mate. All the um, graft I put in and I'm still on like 12 followers. Don't know, that's, man, not, yeah. that's not true. Um, I could be lying. His subscribers actually true. increased the last few days, really? Oh, wow. Uh, it's not that he found a body, it's, clear, it's that he clearly shows it and exploits that person for views. Ultimately, everybody's exploiting bodies for views, though, when you see them on the news and all that. I'm not defending him. Don't twist this isn't me defending him. I'm just saying, like, I think there's a freedom of speech uh, thing with it. But when you see how he portrays it, it doesn't feel authentic. There's not, there's not, it's not done from a respect point of view. He's like, it's just a weird reaction. Like, what's. What what's respectful about going filming that? Um, well, for starters, that's not respectful. But even when they happen upon it, it doesn't like. I'm pretty sure if me and you was like on our way to a match filming that, like, because we've done that on our way to places, haven't we? Mm. Like, if we'd have happened upon a dead body, I'm pretty sure I'd have turned the camera off and probably explained it another day at what had happened. But his reaction is, it feels false. It feels like they knew they was going there to see it. They probably pre-arranged the route he was going to go and then he's a shit actor and it comes out in a video. It just fucking... just doesn't sit right at all with anything that's gone on with it or anything like that, so... Yeah, I'm not going to watch that, then. Um, <coughs> so, so, had, Son sounds like it was a belter in a goal. You had a monster second. today? Uh, I have had one today, yeah. Not that one. No, I was just thought, because I remember you texted me saying not had one Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep, went two Wednesday. days without one. So... The guy that I'm working with, I don't even know what to call him, really. Coach, I guess. Um, I said that because of the amount of fucking caffeine I'm used to being on. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was just thinking it's like, you know, Cause coach. I'm coach. As in, like, yeah, coach touches me inappropriately. I don't know me for that. Maybe he does. I maybe maybe I that's know. part of the deal. Um, because, like, you can't just fucking kill him. It's like cigs. Like, you can't just fucking say, oh, that's that. I know, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to, like, cans of Coke and Red Bull. Well, there you go. Um, well, I bought one today. And I've just like been looking at it on my desk. <laughs> so I'm weaning but, off. I am getting less. I'm obviously <laughs> yeah, getting yeah, less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I did it. I did it for about a week, 10 days before Christmas. Because I was having a can of Coke every day and thought, it's not good, this. And then, so I stopped it. And then obviously it's Christmas, so I bought... Loads. Yeah, I bought <laughs> a few. Um, am I at the game tomorrow, Ollie? Yes, I am. Uh, it was the way that he laughed when he saw it. It was just a weird thing. It's weird. Um... Yeah, his I did it to raise awareness thing is PR bullshit. He did it for the clicks and the lols. Yeah. It's the way he firstly says, this is a YouTube first. No, he didn't, did he? What? He says that. Weird I didn't see fucker. that. He called it YouTube history or something. 
it, it, it isn't even because if you go and look that Vice documentary has got like 18 million views it's like 5 years old 7 years old or some shit that, you see that um, that, that, that guy did fa- someone got murdered on Facebook Live didn't they one time that, there's more did than one that's happened that Facebook Live mm. it was like just like a bit of a no it still goes yeah. pretty regular I think Facebook are actually turning Facebook uh, there's a new app coming out which is going to be called Facebook Watch which is they're, they're just looking to get you to watch videos basically yeah I'm, I don't go on Facebook anymore <laughs> Top on social, she. Um, Fuck that, mate. What is that? Oh, there was a program on the other day. Like, oh, what was it? This I like watched loads of random shit, but like robots and like robots on us or something. So I watched a little bit of it where it's like I kind of get this idea. So it's like people with autism and that and help them develop skills and, right. and it's teaching them and that. And you're thinking, nah, mate, Terminator's coming. Did you see that about? Uh, I tweeted it the other day. And I was like, we're about three years away from Ed 209, where these little, little robots uh, that are being sold to police departments to patrol certain a- areas, they like they look like an egg with wheels on. Yeah, in San Francisco. Yep. Yeah, yeah, because they're fucking they're taking homeless people away from there, so they graffiti them and stuff. Yeah, I tweeted that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone, uh, well, there was there was a like a positive article that come out about it that I saw, yeah, right. Mashable. Uh, and then someone had sent me that about yeah the homeless people tipped them over and put barbecue sauce on the sensors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, Rob has got an excellent point. How are you doing, Rob? Uh, can we get to 4K towards the end of tonight? Look, we're 16 people away. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed and you've not hit that like button, do both right now. Fuck you, playing that. How about that? Um, he was promoting his merch and his hashtag in his written apology. What a fucking chopper. It's like Kevin Hart apology, in it? About cheating his wife. Um, so first of all, <laughs> let me just say, you can't start an apology with, um, oh, mate. <laughs> um, oh, we have one of those robots in the area in Sacramento. It's a toy, really. We mainly make jokes What does it do, it. though? Does it like... Yeah, what does it do? Yeah. Wait, wait till they put a gun on it, and then you've got Ed 209. You have 35 seconds to comply. Um, what else do we want to talk about? So Don't really want to talk about United. At the no. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Nah, I can't. Jesse Lingard's been good, hasn't he? Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for it's him. about it. <laughs> I'm happy for him. Not just because he's a local lad, but because he, 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 he always tries all, action, all the yeah. time. All the time, like. The Call of Duty guy got gil- killed. No, I've not heard about that. Sounds like a joke, though. That sounds like the setup to a joke. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know who we're going to sign. I, I I have started a video. I just haven't finished it yet, which is uh, identifying the targets that we need. But they're wrong because, obviously, I feel a certain way about the formation we're going to play. But the yeah. fact that Ozil's almost an open secret that he's coming, whether it's now or summer, I suspect it's going to be probably summer. summer yeah. um, that means that we're not going to play the formation that I want us to play or I would be, like, searching for. So... I can't get excited about playing four two three one. It makes me want to fucking kick toddlers. <laughs> Hard. Uh, yes, Matt. I did see the comments by Eamon Dunphy. Is yeah, he I see fucking, that. He's a fucking muppet. Him. Is is he off his head? Honestly, just obviously he's just trying to get a name for himself, and then it's like, oh, I'll promote. So he's got a podcast, and that's his official Twitter page. Because I was like looking at, if he can use this fucking. How big is your nuclear button? Him. Can you believe that President Trump's like literally starting a my dad's bigger what, than your but, dad? But on the thing, the thing is, is like people get banned off Twitter for all sorts of shit, yeah. but he's still like a, nuclear war. Now it's cool. <sighs> There's a big petition trying to get Jack to step down. Who Jack Dorsey is the CEO of Twitter. Like you're allowing this. If we got nuclear war, because you've allowed this prick to just like tweet threats out to people. Talk it up. Yeah, like you're fucking insane, man. Insane. Uh, did you see that robbery in Venice? No, no. I did not. Um, see, these are the things that you need to be posting to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, Red, on the Reddit group, if you don't know where that is, the link is in the description below. Post some shit on there. Let's get some discussion. I find that shit well interesting. I was looking at some stuff today that I meant to make a note. I can't remember where it is now. I bet I can't find it. It was something about, some, oh, about a conspiracy. I can't remember. It'll come to me probably. And I was like, see, you bastards. But I can't remember. Uh, do I think Lingard's movement is better than Lukaku? It's totally different. Totally different players. Yeah. Um, I think Angel signed his podcast. Oh, sorry, his contract since the last podcast. Thoughts? Um, he signed a podcast. Angel. Who's Angel. All oh, right. There are quite a few people. They've United have extended contracts, aren't they today? Who's? Um, Herrera, Mata, Young. They've taken the option up for the extra year. I didn't know Young had an extra option. I knew Herrera and Matt. Matters? Yeah. Matt didn't have an extra year. I don't know, I'm sure I've seen that, yeah. 
Are you sure it's not Blind and Herrera? No, I'm sure it's a Ma. Definitely Ma. That's yeah. a weird one. Um, oh, God, yeah. Garth Crook saying Sterling and Moses have been winning European Cups. What? Uh, pointless punditry. Stringers, that is a fucking belting idea, actually. What's that? Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to find it. I'll try and find it. I'm, I, I swear right. I've seen it before. Yeah, all right. Um, pointless punditry. Conspiracy Corner. Pizza review. There you go. Three segments. And that was it. That's the, all we need. The utter bollocks that we talk about and everything else. Um, if Andrew doesn't get back to the standard he showed last year, Milinkovic Savage could be a good option. If he just plays three man midfield, I think we've got the players to play it. I'll find it. Yeah, trig. Yeah, trigger extensions for. Oh, fuck off, you slag. Hmm. The word was, uh, I'm surprised at that actually. I didn't even know he'd been offered one, unless I, I guess they didn't just trigger. How yeah, yeah, because that, that's system? that's the whole point. That's the problem. Why I don't know why Arsenal don't have that. Don't get uh, All right, whatever. whatever. Uh, pizza review. Yes, yeah, Jay. Yeah. We definitely want to be getting you want pizza your ex- reviews. A year year long contract extensions for Matt Herrera, Young, and Blint. Yeah, move to sc- well secure their market value. I guess that's what it does first and foremost. Um. So yeah. Jack Wills just dive. Oh, it's a fucking joke, isn't it, man? It's an absolute joke. Uh, any update on that campaign, if you can call it that, to get a better job at Papa John's? Well, yeah, well, I kind of had to stop the Papa John's thing because of the shit that they yeah. were tweeting out in America and but the, uh, the NFL. CEO stepped down. How is he? Yeah, CEO. Yeah. Pap, he's, he's actually called John as well. I don't know if it's well, named after him. No, well, it's not what? named after him. It's, it was a lap from the 30s. All right. Uh, I think. Um, Owen will have his own section on Pointless Punter. So will Garth Crooks. I think. Oh, there's a lot of them though that say shit. Um, yeah, the, oh, the in C- our greaves as well. Yeah, the the CEO of Papa John's was getting after all the the black NFL players for sitting mm. down during the anthems and stuff like that. Um, so we literally decided that we didn't want to play that game. Um, but he stepped down now, so so we can back on it now. Yes, so I can start my I, ring Papa John's. I to can, sponsor eat, the I can podcast. eat Papa John's guilt free. <laughs> oh, they had a Domino's. Um, we had one the New Year's Day. Christmas and New Year. Because my cousin stayed at our house on Christmas Eve. And like she's a doctor at Christie, So I picked her up and she's like, oh, I'm starving. So I was like, what do you want? So she's like, oh, I can't think. I've just done like 14-hour shift and someone's just died. And I'm Pizza. like, oh, fucking hell, do you want pee- pizza or something? So she's like, yeah, go on then, Domino's. So she ordered that. It looked pretty nice. So it's then just, I ordered it's got a, pizza. It's got a, they don't put enough cheese on for me. Or not deep enough, usually. No, yeah, it's I think we should do pizza. We should just go around town, pizza joints around town. So I was thinking, oh, yeah, I went to Dog and Doe. I didn't like them pizzas at all. Do you know what? to go there for New Year's Eve. Put my foot down. So I'm not going there. Where did you go? We ended up going to TGI's because actually couldn't get in many places because we're trying to take Jay in. So oh, yeah. Pretty limited. I had one of them Tomahawk 30 ounce steaks. Wasn't yeah. a lot of steak on it. Don't people are looking at it like, whoa, can you finish that? Can I finish that? I do three of them and fucking ask for more. You should go and You're try talking them about... food challenges. Uh, I wouldn't be fair on people. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> them burgers and shit. Um, I reckon I've had the most chicken wings you've ever seen anyone eat, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a love machine. And ended up nude afterwards. Uh, right, who's in? Where was it? Malia? I'm sure we told this story before, but yeah, oh. it was Malia. So we're in Malia. It's Ma- right, it's Malia. Let's let's just paint let's just paint the picture properly, yeah. So okay. it's a lads' holiday. There's what 20, 25, yeah. 25, 26 people there, lads. So uh, it's fucking chaos. Yeah, Steve brings his bird. I didn't bring my bird. Well, was she there? She was there. So you brought your bird then, right? So no, no, no. Uh, hang on, no, no, Let no. me tell the truth before <laughs> no, you spit. That's it. the fucking truth. Well, all right, it's factual, but it's not the truth. Is she so, your bird, and was she there? Yeah. So I didn't bring my bird. Right, there was a goalkeeper that played with the lads that they all played with. Millsy. Millsy. And he booked your lot going, didn't he? Because no, he didn't Kirsty book. was going, wasn't it? No, he didn't. What? I think that was the case. Some shit no. like that. What, so Millsy dictated where we were on holiday? I think so. Fuck off. Get the fuck didn't off. Know that <laughs> Either way, I was a late addition to it. I'd only known, uh, uh, who's now my wife, Janine, mm. for about six weeks. Yeah, a bit, bit soon. One of the now, reasons that we got... Soon. One of the reasons that we got chatting to each other was because there was a group of girls that was all going to Malia from our area at the same time, and obviously all the lads was going. I just decided to go on there, and as I'm chatting to her in Riff Raff, Did you just decide to go on? I got on really late, because I only got off, I got leave late. Uh-huh. Who dropped out? Oh, I can't remember. Somebody dropped out. Was he gay Ben? No. No, nah, because he was in... No, because you stayed in our hotel, didn't you? 
Was you in Lardy's room? I was in with Lardy and Scooby. So yeah, we so uh, I don't know. Somebody dropped out, I jumped in. So I ended up chatting to Janine and said, oh yeah, we're going on that thing. So it wasn't, I didn't bring my bird. We did though. She was going before I even knew her. We did though. <laughs> so that's the truth. In my, in my However st- he wants in to my, fucking In my story, it. you brought your bird. All right, okay, so I brought my bird. So um, we're about 10 days in and they did this barbecue, which was a sick barbecue actually, didn't they? Yeah, well, we was in... Wasn't a, even at our hotel. <laughs> we, we, was in, we was in like a hostel. Yeah. It was a fucking scummy hotel. We, we, we're driving around. Do you want to do the drop-off for everyone? And you're like going into the middle of nowhere and you're like, fucking hell, who's up here? Up the fucking hill. Yeah, up the hill. And they're like, we're like, who's up here? And then they call all our names. We're like, oh, we didn't book here, look. Yeah. And like, she was like, well, you can put a complaint in. But she was basically saying, put a complaint it's not my, in. It's not my fucking problem. But go fuck yourself, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, it was called Disney, wasn't it? Oh, I can't remember the name. It was called the Disney Apartments. There was nothing Disney about it. It was hanging. <laughs> um, Unless that's where some Disney people have been so, fucking fond I mean, of. There, there wasn't even a, there was a pool, but I think I've had baths bigger than it. So it was behind this fucking brick wall that like oh, blocked out no the sunlight. sun. Yeah, it was Luckily, thing. over the road was a sick hotel with a massive terrace and a really sick pool. So we just piled in there all day, every day. About 10 days deep, they put this barbecue on. Did they put that on just for the hotel guests? I don't remember no, paying no, for they, it. No, yeah, we paid for Did it. We? Yeah, yeah, it's like all you can eat buffet, isn't it? Right. So Steve took the word literally. No, here's what happened, right? Again, so, all right, Steve will tell you this. The truth. Truth. So I went and had a plate, and it was a Scouser uh, MC, wasn't there? Remember him? Because like, it was like a karaoke thing. People were singing karaoke and shit. So there was a Scouser goes. Uh, I think I went and had one plate, and I went and got another plate. And he's like, uh, he said something like, oh, but he can't eat all them. I said, I bet I fucking can. <laughs> um, and then I think I ended up... That's all he did the rest no, of no, the no. night. I was about to go up and get seconds. And he said something like, I bet he can't eat all of them. Chicken wings or some shit like that. So I said, I bet I fucking can. So I took the whole platter of wings. Like It was like... It's like, you know, when you get the catering trays, them si- silver trays. Hundreds that... of wings. Probably over 100, I'd say. Well over 100. I'd say it, about, eight, about 83. Fuck clothes of chicken wings, put it that way. And they were nice as well. They were good chicken yeah, wings. They weren't yeah. just shit ones. Yeah, they, they were proper good. grilled on the barbecue. And uh, and I walked back and I said something like, when I eat all these, you're getting naked to the MC. And he said, all right then. So I sat there and I fucking polished them off. And then he <laughs> wouldn't get naked, the scouse cunt. So I got naked. <laughs> <laughs> and then dived in the pool. And then sang Love Machine. Yeah. I'll do it all again tomorrow. I won't. <laughs> That I don't that, know. That I can't even imagine going on a two-week bender like that and not being dead. We all had that flu afterwards, though. Yeah, because the the I when they go, oh, it's the ice, it's the Malia flu. It weren't. It was because the spirits were like methylated. Yeah, and diesel. it was shit, <laughs> just shit. Yeah, uh, D United need a director of football f- desperately. Fuck knows. We're talking about chicken wings here, mate. Yeah, we are. We're deep in chicken wing talk. Yeah, fuck the football. I'm hungry now. Ben, been to Rudy's Pizza in Manchester. I think you mentioned it on here before, actually. Been to where? Rudy's. Oh, yeah, that's in there. It's in Northern Core, isn't it? It's supposed to be decent. Um, oh, shit. I thought I'd drop that now. Um, have I watched the Godfather films? Yeah. yeah. Have I been to Jade Garden in Ashton? I have, yeah. No. Yeah, it's uh, where Finger used to be. Oh, it's up, just up from Time Zone when it used to be Bex. Remember the nightclub before? Oh, shit, that's where that is. Uh, shit happened outside there. Yeah, it's been there for years. That. What crew do you have? Um... Now I just have a dal, innit, bro? <laughs> I have a badami, actually. A badami? A peanut one? Yeah. Yeah. I like them. I went to I went I was in Longside the other day, went to Sanham's for this buffet sort of thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was alright. I just had fish pakora. Um someone saying character right. very unlikely. I must have missed this, the first option of that. I'm so hungry now. What's my thoughts on United under eighteen squad being successful in the twenty ones being cursed with draws? I think the formation I just it's not twenty ones, it's twenty threes in it for starters. Um there was a just a complete lack of investment in the twenty threes as a team and Mourinho quite rightly hasn't got time to look at anyone and he won't sanction any signings for anyone that he doesn't think are going to be first team eventually so at the moment they're just fucking dying and it's a nightmare um, so the under 18 side's not physically developed enough yet it's a very good under 18 side it wouldn't be a very good under 23 side do we need a director of chicken wings I'd apply mm, I, I just have to look now just to be a, an observer Top five UFC fighter personal opinion, current or ever. Um, if I was looking at exciting fighters for next year, I'm gonna say Francis Ngannou, the absolute maniac. That's gonna be a fucking. Uh, that's 
two week away, I think, or a week away, some shit like that. UFC 220, all my fucking days. Uh, and Gano against Stipe might be a change in the guard. Might be the scariest human being ever to walk the face of the earth. But I think if I had to say standout stars as like Steve's prediction for 2018, UFC fighters. And Garnu definitely. Darren Till, the scouse cunt, is going to absolutely tear up that welterweight division. How he makes welterweight, I don't know. He's like bigger than me. He's fucking enormous. Not fat though, but he's an absolute monster. He's a gorilla. Somehow makes 170. Mental. Fucking hell, I weigh 165. I weighed myself today. I'll get you down to 145, I reckon. Yeah. I'll probably weigh less now just on my run. Um, favorite chicken dressing coating. Mine is tandoori. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I gotta think. Keep it basic with like a hot Nando's. It's pretty good. Yeah. Don't pretty good. No Top five UFC current. I would have said Cody Garbrandt, which just got beat, but I still like him. Don't know. It doesn't matter because you get beat, does it? Yeah. Well, he lost his title, but I think yeah, Cody Garbrandt, big fan. Uh, GSP, although fuck knows what's going to happen. I mean, anyone who doesn't put Connor in the top fucking five of, of anything at the moment is mental. He's been tweeting some random shit recently, hasn't he? Uh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Mm. <laughs> no, not anymore. Everyone does it. Son would be a good player. So I, I like him, yeah. Uh, should go to UFC London. Oh, shit. I don't know when t- tickets are released this week, I think, or some shit like that. I think tickets are released pretty soon. I do want to go to that, actually. Uh, there should be a, a charity UFC match Ben against someone <laughs> Ben against Jaden he'll probably beat me up <laughs> if reckon does it doesn't he Rose against JJ was a sick fight it was a sick fight uh, on Saturday you go to sleep France and Garnu uh, Mike Mouse the greatest UFC fighter ever no I'd make it GSP because he did it um, on a couple of weight classes and he fought everybody at the time and he fought more when he was all on steroids um, Mighty Mouse Unfortunately, you know, he's a big fish in a tiny pond. Do I think McGregor will go to WWE one day? I reckon he'll probably be that rich. He probably don't even need to. Because that's a grind, that, isn't it? Yeah. Even though he make a lot of money, that's a grind. Uh, thoughts on Khabib? Khabib can do that to anybody. Literally anybody in that weight division. I mean, did you see some of the fucking... Did you watch it? No. Oh, there's times where it's disrespectful how fucking much he battered him. Like, he's got him at one point. He just got him by the throat up against the cage. And he's just like, bam, bam. And you just think, fucking hell, this is two fighters at the top of their game, and one of them looks like he's never been in the cage before. Because <clears throat> you just can't stop him. Khabib's like, he's not going to knock me out with the hands, because Barboza, he's really accurate, but he's he's not really a, a clubber. Like, his knockouts all come from kicks, and he's a fucking terrifying kicker. So he just walks at him, just walks at him. Because he's like, well, he can only throw hands. He can't really throw a kick going yeah, backwards. Yeah. Eliminates all the spin stuff if I just walk him down. And then he walks him down, he gets a takedown, he gets him in positions and then just batters him. It was it was disrespectful. There's the only way to say it wasn't like a fight. Props to Barbosa because he's a fucking absolute animal, but he can't grapple. He can't grapple with Khabib. And it probably goes the same way with Connor, if we're being honest. I think Rogan was right. Rogan was saying this weekend. Let's get um, Connor versus Tony for... I can't remember where he was saying to, to get it, where to put it, or what... Because um, oh, it was a big event. I can't remember what the fuck it was. And then the winner fights Khabib in Russia because they want a big Russian card. And then Khabib's got to beat him, I think. Khabib beats Connor, mm-hmm. I think. Um, am I going to the KSI fight? No. Is there an option to bring back Timbo? I don't know, to be honest. Um, I would like to see it happen. I don't think it'll happen. I can't. Yeah, he's... Get fucked down, you know. What do I think of the racism in the media targeting black players such as Pogba, Lingard and Sterling and Lukaku? People talking about Lukaku uh, as an unintelligent player, as a player that only had physical attributes. Well, surely his passing game has shown you that he's a much more intelligent football than people are giving him credit for. It's bullshit that we're dealing with this. In 2018, I guess now, nearly said 2017. Mm. But, like, I thought it was quite funny how Liverpool came out with uh, Brewster. I actually was quite shocked at that article, to be honest. Probably shouldn't be, but was quite shocked at that article. But the cheek of Liverpool to come out and support them, it was 2011 when they came out in support of fucking Suarez <coughs> against Evra. Yeah. Like, yeah, but that's the same of anything, though, isn't it? Madness. Um, the Rogan podcast from yesterday with Nowitzki was really interesting didn't realise how badass the USC Performance Institute was 
I've seen some posts from fighters, and I saw Rogan's Snapchat story from last week, where they were showing like they've got um, they've got cages in there, which have got that many cameras around them, and this touchscreen like fifty inches, or like Sky have mm. at the side, so you can go in there, spa, and then you'd be like, oh, you caught me with something, let's fucking go and rewind it, and then you can look at it from every angle and from all these different heights as well, so you can track everything just to see if you like your fucking foot comes up a little bit when you do this or. It was really interesting, actually. Um, we got a guy, we got a couple of guys that uh, MMA latest that are actually in Vegas. I wonder if they do like not public tours, but would they like let you in a press or would maybe be able to take a, like a fight to take you in? Uh, one of our lads actually spoke to Enganu. We got a French lad, Lucas. Shout out to Lucas. Um, we spoke to Enganu uh, just before Christmas, actually, for MMA latest. So you can go and check out that interview that we did on there on our website. Um, there should be some more videos coming from MMA latest. I'm gonna get. Some time in the schedule at some point. You got uh, bare time now. Got quite a lot of time. Try to work out every day. Do pretty well. Yeah, but just like I know. It's, <laughs> no, it's like <laughs> do it every day. Then it's if you don't do it one day, then you won't do it the next day. Do you know what I mean? It's like maybe do it. Build it up to that. Um, what was I gonna say? The missus said Ingano pretty much lives at the Institute, moved there from France just so he could train there. Yeah, it looks sick. Um, so have the Cross 92 lads got an agenda against Mourinho because they want Giggs to get the job? I don't think Giggs is even not, in for the Giggs job. Giggs is not going to get the job. I won't worry about that. No, I don't think so. I mean, no, I don't think so at all. I can't remember what Scholes was like when Giggs was there um, under Van Gaal. I can't remember what he was like. I think he he's always... Is it, <laughs> Bored, isn't he? That's what it is. He wants he wants to be on the edge of his seat like everyone else, but it's a it's a process. Uh, save Dave Bins. Um, yeah, Dave's really paranoid. Someone's trying to kill him. I reckon he, he's just got dickheads who like setting fire to Bins who live near him. <laughs> is he Manchester? Yeah, um, the first one happened before he'd even properly moved in. But it had burnt through his like cable, through for his internet. Oh, mate. So it's happened twice in like, he's only been there a couple of months, so it's happened twice in a couple of months, so he's ruined it. Um, why doesn't Gig just manage Salford? Well, he's, he's already said he wants to manage higher because of his experience playing footy, and he come out and did, because I think he said something and that he got a bit of a backlash about managing lower leagues and thinking he's too good for that, but then he come out yeah. to explain, look, you know, I've done all my coaching, my UEFA, I've done that while I was still playing, it's not like I've, I've not done anything. I've been part of the coaching staff at United, you know, assistant manager, blah, blah, blah. And it's also got, Surely it shouldn't uh, matter, though. You've got to go prove yourself. Yeah. Like the kids who went out on loan sometimes. I, I, you've got I, to I, drop a I was thinking, like, you look, you look, at the, look at the managers in the top... Well, you just look at England, focus on England, the top leagues. Like, you know, obviously, Pardew got a new job. Um, oh, that, that same lot are always getting them same jobs. Yeah, so... But, I mean, like, who who is there? Who is there where you think, oh, actually, they're actually doing well? And, you know... They're a young up and coming manager. You've got to go to the championship, which is the hardest league in Europe. But probably. then Tony Pulis has got a fucking Middlesbrough job. He's like, well, I'm not saying that you can get them jobs. But I'm saying that you should look to get yeah, them jobs he, and do well with uh, the team. I think he at um, Bristol City, hmm. but you know he was at Oldham. He did really well at Oldham. Who's at um, Derby actually? Uh, Rowett. Gary yeah, Rowett. it is Rowett. Yeah, but he did, yeah, but I he, mean, because these lot tomorrow, there's, there's an upset on the cards here tomorrow. They're second. Yeah, fucking they? Derby, yeah, are flying they? in the championship. Yeah. Know, they were, are they flying now? Yeah, I flying. Massive unbeaten run that they're on at the moment. Uh, well, b- obviously Brist- Bristol, they, Third. yeah, you know they they've got a decent manager in there. Yeah, there's um, who's manager of Wolves now? Because I mean they've got some right players. I don't even know actually. I can't remember his name. Who's manager of Wolves? Bang it in the comments for us. Um... Do I think the fitness of City oh, yeah. players is a bit yeah, suspicious? Dar- Darby is a second, but they're, they're 12 points off Wolves. Wolves are fucking walking away with it. Mm. But then look at, I mean, it's, it's any one yeah, from... It was tighter than that like, before Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, the Christmas weed, weeds out a lot of things. I mean, people com- people complaining about, oh, you know, some dire football. But yeah, there's been a lot of, quite a few nil-nils. And they're saying, oh, well, you know, look at the top European leagues. And you're like, yeah, but all the fucking players play in the Premier League. If they don't want to play in, in playing this... Don't take the fucking money yeah, because they come to the Premier League because they pay more money than anybody else. So I don't understand this argument saying, oh, well, you know, whatever. Clubs do need to stop thinking of 
Pardew, Allardyce, Pulis. Maybe not so much Allardyce as much as the other two. Because pa- I don't think Pardew, he's failed yeah. as much as pa- that. Pardew thinks he's the fucking Don Juan, doesn't he? Chocolado was Bullard. Nuno Gordon. Santo. Yeah, that's Santos. Um, what's going on with Statman Daves nowadays? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> um, Ex-Portal manager. That's the fellow. Mm. Uh, he can come and manage our local team if he wants gigs. Um, he can come be my assistant for FTD if he wants. I'll let him do Tim that. Tim Bowes, brother. Thanks, Russ. Um, City and all staff should get drug tested. Right. Have you watched Icarus yet? No. Fuck it's on my list. me. It's on my list. Right. But I know about it because I've... I told you you watch it. Did you? I'm sure I did, yeah. All right. Well, I've, I've spread the gospel mile every time. Like, yeah. I'm just m- mivering people. I made Janine and Jaden watch it on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> But they loved it. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking quality. Yeah, um, so Novitsky, who Rogan's had on his podcast today, was part of the USADA um, looking into Lance Armstrong <clears throat> um, and catching Lance or trying to catch Yeah, I know Lance all about it. You don't need to explain to me. So all right, well, we've got views. Look at the camera then. Right. Look at me. Well, shut up. I'm, I'm engaging. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, this guy's making a, a cycling documentary about how to dope, essentially. And then in the, the guy who gets to help him dope, in the middle of him making this documentary... This whole scandal blows open about Russia basically doping every sport, including football, um, and just blows this whole thing wide open. And then it, it makes his documentary turns left a little bit, and it's amazing. But what it makes you think is, you know, Lance Armstrong was tested like two hundred times somewhere in that ballpark. Someone said five hundred. I think that's wrong. I think it's two hundred, and passed every single one of them. It's piss that they're taking. The UFC. There's like a running joke in the UFC, like pre USADA UFC. Essentially, everyone was on steroids. Even though he was tested, he was tested. Yeah, camp, you saw that they tell him, or weren't there something about him saying, "Oh, don't be taking that." Oh, fucking hell! My memory's shit. <laughs> was there something like something? Yeah, just forget about me. I'll sit in the corner. <laughs> so um, obviously, UFC pre Usada, it was kind of known that everyone was on everything. Uh, Usada's come in now, and they're testing the shit out of him. Novitsky actually mentioned, I think it was sixteen or thirty-two times that um, Connor and Floyd was tested in seven weeks in the build-up to their fight. And it was like, it might have been one of the biggest fights ever, but I also guarantee it was one of the cleanest. He was taking blood, and they, they test him for metabolites, for historical stuff, as well as piss. And you think, football's just a piss. Yeah, Flo- And the I FA mean, actively Flo- covers Floyd, Floyd would have been on all over that, because he did, he did all that shit with Manny Pacquiao, and that was the, one of the reasons why they He actually pays for it. Uh, Mayweather Productions actually pays for a lot of that testing, even for himself, but it's independently done. Um, so you got the FA actually covers up drug testing stuff, and you, oh, I yeah, really want to speak to someone from the FA and say like, "What?" Yeah, but what? they're not going to tell you that. What's your no? I want to say like, no, prote- how can you fucking cover drugs? Because they're protecting, they're protecting, they're protecting their interests. Bullshit! It's bullshit. It's money in it. That's all it is. But look, look the UFC. I got you. Got to take your house. What the UFC are doing? They're fucking. They they've just demanded regulation and they've demanded that the sport's safe. Maybe it's because it's a more dangerous yeah, sport. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the reason. Because obviously, like, whatever. Um, let's see what you guys are saying in the comments anyway. Pulis is more reliable than Aldice. I beg to differ. Pulis is what? More reliable than Aldice. No. Um, 05 to 09, we had an English team in every Champions League final without with the winter break. I think for, like, from 05 to 12, 11, we had, like, 11 or 12 teams in the final. Some shit like that. And, like, multiple semi-finalists. Um, yeah, there's nothing to do with a winter break. Mm-hmm. It's about managing your squad. Yeah, Pep and then that's the whole point you. of having a squad. Like, you, you can't moan about having a squad and then fucking, like, jab just, jab De Bruyne up just so he can play against Watford at all. Well, allegedly. I'm going to throw in a big and allegedly in there. Um, but yeah, there's, there's obviously something to look... I'm going to I'm gonna go full on Eddie Bravo mode here. Look into it. Look into Pep's history with... <laughs> look, look into him when he was playing in Serie A. Just look into it. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything. Can't sue me. Look into it. Uh, make your own opinion and then tweet everyone about it. How's my back? It's good. Um, I've had my ass handed to me the last couple of days at, um, at CrossFit. And yesterday, I thought I was going to be in shit state today. Uh, I ended up in a Japanese necktie in jiu-jitsu, which is a real fucking weird like kind of neck crank. And uh, my neck cracked like <laughs> a couple of times while I was in it. I was like, that's going to be sore as fuck tomorrow. But it's okay. I'm okay. I was I was a bit worried, though. What do I think of Brian Ortega? Uh, guys, I like a magician. Uh, mad jiu-jitsu dude. Uh, Icarus is mint. The Russian guy knows. He definitely knows. And Putin's definitely trying to kill him. Uh, is Neville a United legend? I don't... 
Where's your definition? Yeah. Where's your definition? Because you've got to define what a legend means before you can say who is and isn't. Because I say for the longest time, we've only got Bobby Charlton as a legend. And then it ends up getting expanded. And expanded it's all open for interpretation, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was 16 times contractually agreed. There you go. It's a lot in seven weeks. It's a lot of needles. Um, have I guy? Have we watched what happened to Monday? If we haven't, it's on Netflix. What's that? What happened to Monday? I, I just nope. wa- I just watched Travelers season two. I like that. It's all right. Peter Belfort in twenty fourteen fifteen was a <laughs> god before being tested. Um, I mean, done MMA. How tough is it facing relentless wrestler like Khabib? I've never faced a relentless wrestler like Khabib. Um, I've only really wrestled with British dudes, and they're not the greatest. Although uh, Brendan Loughnane, if anyone knows him, um, I used to train with him at Stockport Fighters. Uh, he was undefeated at the time. I think he's lost a couple of times since. And there's a case to have made that he should be fucking undefeated still because it was two bullshit decisions. Uh, but Brendan's wrestling was fucking excellent. And sometimes you just can't do it. Like, Joe, when someone's just a better wrestler, like like could be with Barboza, mm. if someone's a better wrestler, then just, there's not a lot you can fucking do. Has Pep dope? Yeah, he, he failed a drug test and was sanctioned for it. Um, 50,000 euros, isn't it? Would I sign Wilshire a partner Pogba? No. To be fair to him, he's, he's, uh, he's played, I think, five consecutive games now. Five or six consecutive games. Would doping in Formula One help you? Yeah, because uh, don't they have to like cut weight and stuff still? They have to stay on a real fucking super strict diet to well, keep their weight down, don't yeah, they? Yeah. They're all tiny people. See how small Lewis Hamilton is? Put them in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, bro. More aerodynamic, aren't they? Um, did I say how bad Rooney was against us? Literally nothing came off of it. Yeah, I think that's Can you imagine story. what people would have said if he was good? That it was a mistake and that. Yeah. Do I think there is drug use in footy? 100%. 100%. I can't get anybody to talk to it. Like I've spoken to athletes, I've spoken to current coaches, and they're not ever going to admit that that's happening at their team. I get that. But no one's even saying that they're hearing about it in the game. I just... I can't, I can't imagine with the money involved in football that it's not happening. Oh, it's hundred percent happening. It's hundred percent happening. Covered up. Well, the amount, the we know what's going on in Spain with that Doctor Fuentes. Yeah, it's the, so the, fucking. The, the amount of people that they test in relation, like Champions League games, it's like bare minimum they test, and it's like it's just. Did Colin Moore come out and say he was never tested in his entire career? Or some shit like that. I don't remember. It's 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 too much money to expose it. You'll expose the odd one. But that's it. But it's even then, it'll be it's most of it swept under the carpet. Trying to think of the sports that doping would be the most useless in. That's a good exercise. Should we do that? Badminton, uh, EPO, stamina, anything stamina based. You're gonna have there's gonna be benefits to doping. All right, then fucking chess. Concentration levels. You probably could take something for that. Darts. Um, yeah, not for darts, but for. Is it the shooting? They take beta blotters to slow the heart rate down so they're not waving the finger or like pistol shooting and stuff. Oh, right, yeah. So you could, uh, technically you can dope that. There's a, uh, you can dope anything, I would yeah. say. I'd probably do it you know, if I went back in time. Yeah, I'd probably would. Nandrolone. I'd get on everything. I wasn't tested once in five years at, in rugby. And I told you when I was 16, yeah. there was a, a certain first team player at Salford come up to me and said, am I on a gear yet? And I said, no. I was just thinking, drugs over mugs, mate. And uh, he sort of was like, <laughs> give me that, the old... <laughs> and walked off like... Mm. Yeah. And I'm like, see, this problem. Talk to Mike Nero on drugs. Have yeah, I got 4G? Have I got 4G? Four grand? Uh, the test is random, so players are able to get away with it. Well, the randomness of it should mean that they're not able to get away with it, but they still do. When will doping be football be publicised? When someone gets a big enough fish that they can fry with it, like Wenger's actually spoken about it in a press conference that he thinks it's uh, rampant and nobody is um, talking about it. Media want to talk about fucking bullshit things, which yeah. and just annoying, just the clickbaity stuff. They won't, they won't do no like real investigative journalism or the the odd one. Was, though, does it? The last no. one was probably the one that got Allardyce sacked. Last bit of investigative journalism, but that was more of a sting. Yeah. So when you say investigative journalism, like going deep in, you know, behind the scenes and and speaking to people, people are too scared to speak out because there's too much money involved, and like they don't want to be the person who's, 
you know, then what what do you do? You blacklist yourself, don't you? Well, that's it. Yeah, there was people a... don't people don't come out as gay because of like the. Oh yeah, and that that's definitely happening. Yeah, so happening, exist. So you know, uh, there was a player at United that I spoke to, and I said, who's getting towards the end of his career, and I said, like, is is there performance enhancing drug problem in football, or is it being used? And he went, he goes, he goes, I've never seen it. Not sure I believed him. Been at a lot of clubs. And he, well, he said, no, I've never seen it. And he goes, you've also got to think, anyone who's involved in the media side of stuff, they, they won't tell you anyway, because they, they don't want to get blackballed. Because if you're the guy that comes out and says, that's what's going on, <coughs> you probably get fucking shunned, wouldn't you? Yeah, you're not, you're not working anywhere ever again. They might have, like, if people forget fly over to, well, they do the, you know, Dubai, whatever, all the, all the, Middle East channels, all the American channels, like the amount of money that they put, because they obviously s- televise every single game. They might, his, there's just too much money in it. It's the same with anything in like big business. Which is why there's definitely PEDs. Yeah. Because the American risk is too high. It's simple as that. What's the what's the supposedly these these shadow two week bans that the FA give out? Um, it's more if it's a more serious uh, offence. But like the first offence is like two week shadow bans or something. It's well worth the risk. Oh, there's, there's for under 200 <coughs> grand a week. <clears throat> yeah, there's loads. I mean, how many times oh, he's got a bit of a knock? He's not going to play. Table tennis, can't dope that, says Chris A. I reckon you can. Uh, reactions, uh, there's a stamina element, a speed element, so speed, yeah. I'm thinking Nandrolone and that kind of stuff, so yeah. Uh, any sort of like stimulants is going to help with that, isn't it? Mourinho is a master of deflection, free bad performances over Christmas, and the media is talking about how he wants to spend more money. Um... I disagree that it was three bad performances. I would say it was three bad results. Uh, they weren't good performances, but it was mostly bad results. Um, is there a, more to the story about Rio Ferdinand's ban than him accidentally missing the drug test? <clears throat> uh, no comment. <laughs> um, do you think Lingard is overperforming and that he's going to excel long term? I think this is the level that he's always been able to play at. Yeah, I, th- I think he's. Do you know what the what the issue has been really is like is is end product goal scoring is because he's always making the runs the runs yeah. that he's always made. I, I've them. always criticised his lack of end <laughs> products. Can't criticise I mean, when that he first came into this. Yeah, first, obviously he's still missed a couple of. He's missed that chance against Leicester, which I've seen people on Twitter like, oh yeah, can't wait for his first his next time he misses an open goal and I'm going to go at him. And you're like, what the fuck? What sort of are, person? Are you a supporter or what? Yeah, just you're just waiting like, and then they compare him to oh he's not as good as fucking Messi. He's not he's like. Well, Come on. Can't dope bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's nice to see a, a player like that. That I thought against Burnley, he was head and shoulders. Or was it Burnley or Southampton? They scored two against Burnley. He, he was on the bench. Oh, right, it was Southampton then. So Southampton was a pretty low performance. Um, and you're like... He didn't hide. No. He's he always was, he was He was grafting. He was even putting in some nasty challenges as well. He's always he's always wants to uh, he always wants the ball. He'll take it. He's, he's a thing is is he'll drive at people as well. He he picks it up deep in midfield and he'll run at people like how and that goal he scored in the charity shield. What all the goals like yeah. yeah. So like I seen someone on Twitter saying oh, how do I explain to my kids when they get older that Lingard scored from all these positions. So the yeah the goal in the charity shield, the goal against Watford, the goal against Everton. Hang on, hang on. Shabash Shah says is Lingard gay? Do me a favour, mate. Go Google Jennifer. Room. If that's gay, sign me up. Someone comes to me the other day, like t- t- today. <laughs> work, if he is, he gives a fuck. Like, oh, he's been cheating on his bird. I was like, have you seen it? And I was like, no. Why would I be interested? I yeah, couldn't give a flying fuck, mate. Not... Did he score? Have you scored on the pitch? Scoring off the pitch? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. He's not a dickhead either. Like I know, obviously speaking to Mr. Bink through his <laughs> <laughs> through his cousin and that, and then he's like, you know, he boxed him off and stuff, and he's. You know, helping him out and put him on a wage. Now he's on a decent screw, but you know, well, don't last forever. No, uh, I, fair play to him is all I will say. Um, if more people had the attitude that he's got, maybe we won't be in the problem that we're in. Um, yeah, I think Rash- I think Rashford's got a similar attitude, and no doubt. But people forget, seem to forget he's what? Is he twenty, 20 now? So just turned twenty. Yeah. Just turned twenty. So you know, Google what, what Jenna Froome. Just Google Lingard girlfriend. Thank me later. She's hat. H A T, hat. Uh, right. Any questions? Oh, we're gonna bounce. Nice, short, and sharp one to get us back in the mix and back in the groove. 
Um, okay, my ass is going a bit numb, actually. I'm so tired as well at the moment. <sighs> is Rashford 56% pork? I don't know. 58. Is Mourinho at a strip club right now? Cannot confirm or deny. Um, do you support Till or can I not because I was from Liverpool? I'll support him. Um, every time Lingard tweets some wrong guns telling him to kill himself, oh. so that's always in the fan base. It's horrible. It doesn't matter, it matter who it is. Like, I mean, the internet's not real. That's the thing. What? Yeah, it isn't real. That's the top and bottom of it is that you can't take that shit. Uh, thoughts on Mike Dean? Wouldn't bang him. Um, <laughs> how is Lingard still walking, let alone scoring worldies? I'll have passed out tapping that ass. Uh, Scoring on and off the pitch, isn't it? Fair play to the lad. Give him, oh. give him a bit of pep in his step. Um, Jesse Lingardinho pulling out better numbers than the world class players in the league, but is apparently still shit. It is, yeah, it's I mean, got better numbers thing, than thing Shaw. The thing is, he's had, he's had a really good month now. He has to do it over a sustained period. Like The Correct. thing is, is like Hazard, De Bruyne, these players, they do it consistently and done it over a number of years. So if now he moves on to for the rest of the season, continues that, goes into the next season, like. You know, he's not. You, but the thing is, the expectation is he's because he's, he's. You would imagine he's going to score at least fifteen, like fifteen a season from a player. You know, from from ten, like ten goals from midfield is fucking class. Yeah, yeah. Well, you. you That's yeah. what we didn't have last season. Yeah, I mean, we we've got way, season. way more, way more. We've got that this season. So yeah, um, Lingard needs a drug test. He must be on something. <laughs> Uh, why would you cheat on that? Only Lingard's like, decision making failed him. Yeah, I mean, so my mate showed me the bird that he cheated on as well. She's not nice. She's not nice. But he's a kid, isn't he? At the end of the day. Um, yeah, ultimately. I mean, I, I don't think we <laughs> could even imagine what it's like to have just what you get slung at you as a Premier League footballer. No. It must be insanity. Yeah, but this, this ain't all that. Um, I hope we should keep sure. Uh, I agree. Uh, Goulom looks a decent replacement. Isn't he, isn't he injured at the moment? Um, it's going rate, 50 million for a full bag. It's, it's insane though, isn't it? Um, when he's playing like this, is England's number 10. Um, Jenna has a lot to say about Lingard's farm, I say. Salty tea or sweet chips? <laughs> It'd have to be sweet chips because I hate tea. Yeah, I mean, um, them sweet potato fries. If, if you're ever in town, get yourself over to Great Anko Street, get to Kettlebell Kitchen, get some peanut butter protein fries. Thank me later, right? Peanut butter protein fries. So it's got sweet potato fries and they've got like uh, a chutney I think it's a, a, a red onion chutney on there there's spring onions in there there's peanut butter sauce and there's pulled pork it's fucking unreal <coughs> mate unreal it's good it's about 1100 calories don't worry about it get it in your face um, guys I'm jealous of your beards because I'm Muslim and I can't grow one well wait till you're 11 and you'll probably have one yeah. <laughs> do you want like um my missus threads my beard now. It's fucking mint. Like the top. Don't knock into it. Try it. You know, like, thing is, anyone ever had the beard? What? It's a fucking common thing. <laughs> is it? Be birds get their eyebrows threaded all the time. Yeah, but you're not a bird and it's not your eyebrows. Yeah, it's my beard. Yeah, obviously, it's, it's a bit, a little bit painful, but it's worth it because, you know, when you go to the, the barber, right? So, obviously, on your neck, it fucking grows back straight away. You can't have your neck threaded because that'll kill, like, foot. But in the line, so my barber know what he does to me. He goes, he, he just lines it there so my missus know where the lines is. Boom, she whips the thread out. Two weeks it lasts for. Doesn't grow back for two weeks. Fucking sweet. I'll take that. Never mind. Um... What is Adam Johnson doing right now? Bird. Uh, thoughts on Bugs and Malone? Seems sound. Uh, key Lingard form is in playing as a 10 as a pro on the left or the right. I think he can still do what he does from the from the, mm. wit, the wide areas. Uh, I mean, he did against Everton. But yes, I think a lot of it is the fact that he's fairly central. Um, some guy in the comments here saying get it uh, threaded. Yeah, takes longer to go back, yeah. See? It's that's that shit right there, mate. He's a kinky get his Lingard. Fair play to him. Um, refreshing not talking about transfer news all the time. Can't be asked. I, we didn't speak about it beforehand, but I didn't want to talk about transfers today. I, I'm pretty sure you didn't anyway. Mm, ugh, it does get tiresome because I, I like squashing the rumours on full-time devils. I like doing that. I don't like blowing them up. You know what I mean? I don't like yeah. getting all excited about them. Um, no, if it happens, it happens, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? The word at the... Middle of December was that we wanted Rose and we wanted Ozil and Shaw would be making way to go with that and Mkhitaryan could go. 
but he didn't know whether any of that would happen now or in the summer. It looks like from the reports yesterday is that the, the stuff on Rose was true, which means the stuff on Shaw was true. But it looks like the Glazers and Woodward are saying that you can't have Shaw, you can't have Rose. We've got Shaw, which I can kind of kind of get behind. To be honest, mm. you've got a thirty million pound left back there. Why do you want to spend forty on another? I, I also think that there's bigger problems to address. Like Shaw's adequate at the moment, I think, and he's, if he <clears> continues <throat> his form, he's fine. The th- right wing's the issue. Yeah, the th- the thing is, is like right. Being realistic at this stage of the season, what you're going to do? F- throw a load of money at it to do what? You're not going to win the league. Yeah, well, yeah, you've you've got to maybe look at a challenge in Europe, secure your top four. <laughs> well, what I said to you, yeah, if, t- second or third and quarterfinals of the Champions League. Good season. It's a good season. I mean, I know, I've tweeted out before, like, yeah, I've, no parade, I, but... I still reckon I, I reckon we'd win a trophy, but that was before we got knocked out of the League Cup. So that was a big avenue because Jose loves his League Cup. League. FA Cups, are, obviously, could be anything. So League, we're not going to win. Champions League, I would say that would be highly unlikely as well. Highly unlikely. But, but I think quarterfinals pushing at semis. I'd, I'd be happy and then possible. T- t- we're scoring way more goals than what we have done for for a long time. You know, we look so, m- more solid defensively. So it's just, I think it'd be fine tuning for next summer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just City have gone on an amazing run and played played decent stuff. Do you think there'll be a massive racism problem at this year's World Cup after the Ryan Brewster uh, come out with with what Ryan Brewster come out with last week? I think it's likely in Russia anyway. No, yeah. Is the top and bottom of it. Would you ever consider living in London? No. Nah. I'm probably never going to earn enough in my life to live in London. Unless someone wants to pay me more. It's <clears> insane. But it's, they'd have to pay me a lot more, because yeah, I get paid all right now. So, the more Lingard's banging birds, the better his form. Work for Ryan Giggs. Had over <laughs> a thousand games, and possibly over a thousand other shit as well. So, mm. happy days for that. Do you think Coutinho is leaving? Yes. Yes, 100 million percent. <laughs> we got any conspiracy theories to talk about? Only the one... With narcotics in the Premier League, we'll dig into that at a later date. Starting lineup for Derby, pretty much slightly refreshed from. Um, well, we're Everton, not. Really. We're not. We're not playing in there until Stoke on the month, the following yeah, Monday. So, so it's a long time. Fairly strong, off. and there, you can't take these lightly. But I would like to see Tuan Xavier brought in. I'd rest Matic. He brought, well, he brought him on for ninety. He brought him off for ninety seconds. Didn't yeah. He? So standard Jose fair. Matic well, that's what I said. I said before, like you know, he did the same with Timbo last year. Brought him on for the last few minutes, and then next year I think he will go out on loan, and then the year after he'll be ready to come back and be hopefully uh, part, of, charge, part, of the yeah. first, part of the first team. Um, a couple of people mentioned Sessignon. That's legit. That interesting Sessignon actually. He's he's like he scored. He's seventeen years old and he's bagging goals. Like he scored. Did he score two again the other day? Did he? Yeah. Chilling. Yeah. Um, right wing's been an issue for ages. True story. Scott McTominay's not featured since he. Bristol really is it? No, I would probably play him against Derby though, just to refresh Matic. Put Herrera <coughs> in the six, play McTominay next to Pogba. He's going to play Pogba. Pop. Pogba's, Pogba's not really played a lot of football, no, so, so he'd be okay. He'd be, he'd be fine, and it's I say recovery time. Greece and so on for summer. A lot of talk is going to Barcelona, Barcelona. but they? Barcelona by by um, Coutinho. They don't think they can afford Griezmann as well. Not for that sort of till. Yeah, that's a point actually. Barcelona they might have to sell. Oh, imagine they sold Neymar. They got money. Oh yeah, actually. They got a lot of money. Two hundred mil. Fucking. Was it three hundred? No. Nah, what was it? I don't two hundred million euros. It's a lot it? of money. Mm. Uh, remember our conversation about wingers at the start of the season? Turns out it's true. There aren't any. There is a lack of wingers in world football. That's because a lot of people play similar formations. There's probably wingers out there playing out of position. Probably. Do you think there'll be any debuts this season? Will Angel get any minutes? I reckon Angel only... That's what I was going to say earlier, actually. I reckon Angel only signed his contract on the basis that there's... Maybe not this year, but at least there's a plan to get him into the first team. Because I know that was sort of what they was holding out for. Mm. Status within the club. Not money, not length of contract, not anything else. Just like... You get, just wanted him in first is, team yeah, training. Well, that's good, that because you, you're, getting, you're going to get money. Of course he is. Like, He's going to mm. earn a lot of money in his career. Thoughts on Khabib? Um, love him. He can do that against anyone. You gotta respect that. Um anything on our own recalls talked about? I don't think so, to be honest. Is one of Stoke or United draw what? If one of Stoke or United draw in the cup game gets moved back to the thirteenth or so that's true. Is that in a replay then? 
Oh, they'd, oh, yeah. they'd be, they'd be, will it though? Because they'd be crying about TV because it'd be getting moved for yeah, TV. Yeah, we're not on. Well, we're not on TV. No, but I mean the Stoke game. Yeah. Is Monday Night Football. Isn't it? Um, they're thinking of selling on City to City as well. That's a good point. That won't be cheap. Um, skip to your question. Sorry, mate. I'm answering as many of the ones I can see. Um, whatever happened to CBJ's at Leeds? I've no idea. How he's doing. I haven't watched it. Uh, Justin Cliver, true winger. Is he a winger? I thought he was more in the Marshall kind of mode. Mm. Oh, Marshall's been fucking sexy, hasn't he? He's done alright. His dribbling's been... mint. His, His dribbling's unbelievable. His dribbling is unbelievable. Nice finish as well on Monday. Yeah. Well, actually, two brilliant finishes one yeah. day, Monday. Absolutely belling. Uh, right, we'll call it a day there. Thank you for tuning in. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, oh, well, let's do this. Right, so get on Reddit for your conspiracies. Hit us up on Twitter with your pizza reviews. Where's whatever day that is. Yeah. Uh, what was the other one we said? Pointless pod, uh, pundits. Yeah. Get that on Reddit as well. And also... Let's start a thread. Someone go and start a thread. If you're listening now, you think, I'll fucking start it. Go start a thread on Reddit. Um, New Year's resolutions. Let's hear what you're doing. And let's uh, do see you next week. Do people still actually do New Year's resolutions? I think so. I haven't Did done they? one. I haven't done one. <laughs> but uh, let's let's hear what you're saying um, on the Reddit group. Link's in the description below. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Laters. Laters.